is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we're going to be discussing the 2019 royal rumble my boy seth freaking rollins he did overcome 29 other men on sunday night he eliminated braun Strowman, curb stomped him on the apron thank god guys i thought braun Strowman for a second there was going to win i was getting very very nervous i was like dude don't do this to me do not do d d please don't please don't do this to me don't don't don't, hey, don't don't do this to me. And they didn't, guys. They actually came through. You know, they did give it. They did do it to us with Brock Lesnar defeating Finn Balor. That that kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. But you know, and then of course they they brought Nia Jax out at number thirty, trying to ruin my freaking Royal Rumble night. But anyways, they did end it right. Seth Rollins does win, and it brings us to today's video. Who is he going to choose? Is he going to choose the Beast Brock Lesnar, or is he going to choose the WWE Captain Planet Champion? Daniel Bryan. So I think what we can do, we can kind of play it around. We can do a little fantasy booking scenario here. I do know that on Monday Night Raw, you know, he was supposed to make his decision, but he really didn't make a decision. You know, fully he did not commit to a decision. It was said that he was supposed to make his decision last night. He uh, he comes out to the ring. Well, first of all, he was supposed to come down to the ring. Brock Lesnar's music hits. He comes down with Paul Heyman. They're talking, you know, uh, they're saying that, you know, this is the easiest decision that Seth Rollins has to make. He can just go with Daniel Bryan. That just makes the most sense, right? Pick Daniel Bryan really easy compared to uh, to Brock Lesnar, you know, building up that fact, how much easier it would be for Seth to pick Daniel Bryan. And um, he's about to, you know, go through his choices and Paul Heyman's talking and then bam, burn it down, hits, crowd goes nuts. Seth Rollins charges down, gets in Brock's face goes right at Brock, starts attacking him, tries to hit him with a curb stomp, takes like four or five F5s, and Raw goes off the air. So we really didn't get a decision. Seth Rollins did not take a microphone, put it to his lips, and say, I choose so-and-so, like Becky Lynch did, which I did love that Becky Lynch-Ronda Rousey segment. I thought that was brilliant, even though they can't wait for nothing, man. They just got to get everything out there. We have plenty of time for Mania. Why do we have to choose now? I think that they could let it simmer, let it salivate, and I'm kind of glad Seth Rollins didn't pick his winner. Because I, uh, you know, I, I wanted this to salivate, man. Let it marinate a little bit. Get some freaking hype. Get it. Make people want to tune into Monday Night Raw. Don't just ruin everything on one night. But anyways, who do I want Seth Rollins to choose? I think, honestly, I, I, I'm going to go about it in two different ways. Of course, we have Brock Lesnar. Of course, that would be, that's what everybody's been talking about. Brock Lesnar's been slaying everybody. He's held the title captive for two years. Seth Rollins, they should have, to be honest with you, th this is 2018. This is what 2018 should have been. Uh, Seth Rollins should have won the 2018 Royal Rumble or something. Seth Rollins should have won the Universal Championship in 2018, but we can't do that now. We're, we're in the now, but um, this is what uh, should have happened last year. Seth Rollins is finally in a position, you know, he, he had an incredible 2018, especially the beginning, man. He was tearing it down with everybody. I should say burning it down. He had a magnificent 2018. He should have been male superstar of the year. If he wasn't, then I, I want you to point to who was in on the main roster. But Seth Rollins uh, should have been Universal Champion, and now he finally has his opportunity here, and the Beast is is just what signifies it. Seth Rollins being the man, being the guy that everybody loves, everybody's behind, he's super over, one of the biggest baby faces on Monday Night Raw, if not the biggest, you know, him and Finn Balor, Roman Reigns was, but now it is just Seth and Finn, but, you know, I think that the, the Brock Lesnar one makes the most sense. You know, he comes in as the underdog. He um, slays the beast. He's the beast slayer. I could see some sick-ass t-shirts being made and all that good stuff. But on the WWE Championship side, if it's going to be Daniel Bryan, there's not even a choice, man. On, on SmackDown side of things, who are they going to choose? On Monday Night Raw, you have Finn Balor. You have, you, you have Drew McIntyre. You have other guys. Even Dolph Ziggler. Hell, I don't care. There's, there are guys on Monday Night Raw that can go on to fight Brock Lesnar, even Braun Strowman. Even though I hate Braun Strowman in that fact, I don't want him anywhere near my Universal Championship. They could easily put him in that position, and Seth Rollins could go choose Daniel Bryan, and they could have their little whatever match. But one thing that I would like to see is that a certain phenomenal superstar slide on in and... Take out Daniel Bryan. I know that he lost the WWE Championship, but he, to be honest, he was kind of cost. He does kind of, you know, he deserves a rematch. Maybe in the Elimination Chamber, AJ Styles can take the championship off Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan can go do something else, and we could have an AJ Styles WWE Championship run, and his only focus would be is to, uh, his job would just be to carry the title to WrestleMania and drop it to Seth Rollins in a freaking five-star classic to close the show. 
and that would be a beautiful ending. I want to see Seth Rollins take on AJ Styles, and that is who I would pick if I could pick anybody for Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. It just makes the most sense. I think that it would be beautiful. It would be a magnificent match. Everybody, now AJ Styles versus Seth Rollins, who doesn't want to see that match? For the WWE title, I think that is what the WWE Championship just signifies and everything in it. I think that AJ Styles versus Seth Rollins is your money match. I would be fine with either of these, to be honest. I really don't want to see Seth Rollins versus Daniel Bryan at all. And there's nobody really on SmackDown, maybe Randy Orton versus AJ Styles, but I don't want to see Daniel Bryan versus Randy Orton. I don't want to see Daniel Bryan versus Samoa Joe. I don't want to see Daniel Bryan versus a lot of different guys, man. I, to be honest with you, I, even though Daniel Bryan's on fire as a character right now, I still just don't want to see... His match with AJ was disappointing at the Rumble, and I'm not faulting him. Uh, completely because I think that the crowd was dead and just I don't know it was it was a long show and everything but I think that uh, Daniel Bryan should not be the champion going into WrestleMania we thought it was going to be the Miz and Daniel Bryan and Daniel Bryan would get his final you know uh, signal to glory and he would overcome the Miz finally um, and win the WWE Championship but they scrapped all those plans man he turned heel he he aligned himself uh, you know Miz goes on with Shane McMahon and now, that, that, that storyline's long gone now. I don't know what the hell they're doing now, but I think that the money match is Seth Rollins versus AJ Styles. This is who I would pick, but I would also be fine with Seth Rollins versus Brock. They're both money matches, but I don't want Daniel Bryan anywhere near it, and I'm still confused. If Seth Rollins goes over here and fights the Beast and we get the Beast Slayer match, then who is going to fill the void over here? Even if it is Daniel Bryan... You can't have this same match. Nobody's going to want to see that. Who are you going to put there? Are you going to have Randy Orton versus AJ? Are you going to have Jeff Hardy versus AJ? Are you going to have Jeff Hardy versus Joe? Jeff Hardy versus Brian? Uh, Brian versus Joe? I don't know. I I'm completely lost. But I would love to know down below, guys, what your thoughts are on the WWE Championship match on SmackDown. Who do you want to see in that match? And also, who do you think Seth Rollins should face at Mania? Do you want to see him fight Brian, AJ, Brock, or... One of the above. I would just love to hear your guys' thoughts. Sound off down in the comment section below and let me know what you guys think. But that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. Just covering the WWE Universal Championship and WWE Championship matches at WrestleMania and who the freaking man Seth Rollins should face. I may have my custom Royal Rumble 2019 Seth Rollins done by tomorrow, guys, and we shall uh, do a little custom review and show it off to you guys. Also picking up a few more Seth Rollins figures for customs and ish like that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.